time to have some fun. We present to you a collection of cool and wonderful tricks that will turn you into the star of every party. Say what you will, but card tricks will never go out of fashion. Show the card to the audience. Nothing supernatural, an ordinary jack of hearts. Make a magic gesture and wave your hand around. What's that? The finger just went right through the card. A bit of magic and the card is whole again. Intrigued yet? We will need some preparation first before we can enjoy the standing ovation. We are going to need scissors, tape, a coin, a pencil, and a few playing cards. Two jack of hearts from two identical decks and another random card. We chose a lucky seven. Cut out a round window the size of the coin in one of the jacks. Put it up against the seven and mark the outline of the window with a pencil. Cut out a circle in the seven as well. Trim the edges of the second jack. Secure the edge pieces onto the back side of the main card with double-sided tape. Trim the second jack so that it can move freely on the card. While moving around, the jack peeps through the window. So that's the secret. Attach the dummy card with some tape. By spending some time on preparation, you can amaze your friends with this awesome card trick. Amaze your friends with your fine skill to balance a coin on the edge of a playing card. Can you do it? In order to make this trick work, you'll need to bend the edges of the card a little bit. Place the coin and gently restore the initial state of the card. Voila! The trick worked! Here's another trick to impress your friends with. Take an ordinary playing card, place it vertically, and then place a glass on it. How is it possible? There's a little secret. We'll actually need two cards for this one. Fold one of the cards in half and stick it to the side of the other one with double-sided tape. Now we can make them look like a single card or push back a part of the card to make a support. Naturally, we'll try to keep this a secret as we show this trick to our friends. Now we must ask the sensitive members of the audience to look away. Take an ordinary playing card and with a quick move, stick it into your hand. Don't panic, no one was hurting during this trick. Take a few cards. Cut out a semicircle roughly the size of a hand in one of them. Glue one edge to a second card. Then glue the cutoff piece in its original place to the other card. Now we can gently fold back the part with the cutoff on it. A bit of practice and you are off to amaze everyone around. And now we must ask the more sensitive members of the audience to look away. Wrap a playing card around your finger and with one swift move, pierce it with a pen. Ouch! Don't worry, it doesn't hurt. There's a little secret. We'll need a playing card, a pen, and two, oh no, wait, three hands. Let's ask a friend to help us out. Bend the finger under the card and show the audience the part of the finger from the other hand sticking out from the card. The pen goes straight between the two fingers and pierces only the card. The wow effect is guaranteed. Show your friends a fan of cards and then stack them up. Pierce the cards with an awl. Show that all the cards are firmly stuck on the metal tip. Wait a minute, it looks like the king of diamonds is peeping out of the deck. Check again. No, look, it's right there with the other cards. But, just by miracle, the magician takes out the king of diamonds from the deck. Let's reveal the secret. It all comes down to two kings of diamonds. One will be in the deck with the other cards, and the second one will have a special mission. Cut off the edge of the card. Attach the piece of the king of diamonds to any other card. Add another card on top with some tape. And you get a secret pocket for your king of diamonds. A simple and interesting trick. And in this next trick, we'll show you the awesome powers of restoration. Perform some magical gestures over the card cut into pieces, and the pieces magically come back together. The card is whole again. For this trick, we're going to need a black piece of cardboard, two identical cards, a couple of metal coins, and a magnet. Cut the card in four pieces. Stick two pieces of the card to the bigger squares on the cardboard with a double-sided tape. 
Place the two coins on the intact card. Cover the coins with the other pieces of the card. Attach the magnet onto your palm with some tape. Hover your hand over the setup. The magnet attracts the coins and the cards jump into your hand. The magic card levitates over the table. The secrets of levitation are about to be revealed. Attach a square piece of double-sided tape to the back of the card. We'll also need a piece of wire. Attach the wire to the tape. Place everything on the edge of the table. Be sure to pick the right spot so that the wire isn't visible. Take video of this cool magic trick and share it with your friends. See if they can figure out the secret. Let's show one more trick from the incomprehensible world of card magic. Show the spectator three cards in a semicircle and ask them to remember which card is in the center. Turn the cards face down and let the friend pull out the middle card. Turn the card over, but it's not a jack at all. In the meantime, a friend considers a jack to be missing. Let's reveal the secret of this trick. You will need four cards. Cut the jack like this. Attach the cut piece to the card with tape. Hide the secret card in the resulting pocket. Fold the cards. After the secret card is on the table, cover the jack with the next card. Even a budding magician can repeat this card trick. The jack of spades also decided to play hide and seek, but this time it's the coin that disappears. Put a coin behind a card and it miraculously dissolves in the air. For this trick, connect two cards, leaving one side unsplit. Put a coin in the pocket between the cards. With this trick, you will definitely be on top. Hold a card in your hand and mentally focus all of the strength of your inner energy on it. The card begins to bend. Is it not a miracle? You need two playing cards for this trick. Cut a thin strip from one of the cards. Attach the strip to the top of the main card with a piece of double-sided scotch tape. Leave the second end with the strip free. We pull the strip with a finger and the card begins to bend. A stunning and simple trick. Show two cards to your audience, the eight and the jack. Fold the cards in half and insert one into the other like this. Expand them. Move the inserted card. The shirt card peeps out from the corner and now it's the other side. How did you do it? Let's share the secret. Bend the eight in the middle. For greater flexibility of the jack, bend it twice in width and in length. Cut the card like this. Cover the folded eight with the jack. Turn them around and open the cards. Neatly bend the jack on the side notch and unfold once again. Move the prepared jack inside the eight. A little practice and you will succeed. It is time for tricks with passing through objects. Put a transparent glass on the table. Cover the glass with a playing card. Put a coin on the card. With the magical movement of the hand, the coin passes through the card and falls to the bottom of the glass. Of course, the execution of this trick was not without tricky manipulation. Make a small cut in the center of the card. The coin slips into the slot and safely gets inside the glass. Is it possible to withdraw money from a playing card? In an ATM, unlikely. But in our trick, it is very possible. Shake cards vigorously and a banknote drops out onto your palm. You need three cards and a paper bill. Cut out a semicircle on one of the cards. Glue the cards together. Put the savings in a secret pocket. While shuffling cards, take out money from the hiding place and put it between cards. Voila, money in hand. Let's check out an easy card trick for an aspiring magician. Carefully shuffle the deck of cards. Take out the six of hearts. Insert it in the middle of the deck with its front side up. Turn the pack over. One half of the card is turned to its shirt, but the second curious half turns around and continues to watch you. It obviously does not trust you. You will need two identical cards. Fold one of them in half. Glue the cards with double-sided scotch tape. Inserting the card into the deck, discreetly bend it along the gluing line. No one will notice anything. Every self-respecting magician must have a magic deck of cards, and this is exactly it. The cards leave the pack by themselves, obeying the magical passes. Cut out a square window on the back of the package. Put the deck in the pack. Move the index and the middle finger, and the cards come to our hands by themselves. Magic! 
Subscribe to Troom Troom Select, and don't forget to press like on this video, and of course, the bell button. And we are already shooting a new video for you.